In this video, I'm going to be going over some of the best practices when using services and how you can use your services to create better proposals. So I'm in a project for a 2021 Dodge Ram. And if I come down to my services, you can see that I've already set up my window tint services, paint protection services, and so on. And I've just set up a different service for each type of film, as well as each application area. So you'll set this up the way that makes sense for how you offer your window film. And then you want to set up your services for everything you offer. So paint protection film, vinyl wraps, uh, 12 volt, absolutely anything can be a service and you want to put everything in here. Now, if I want to create a proposal, it's a best practice to use your services to create that proposal. So let me show you what I mean. If I want to create a proposal with a good, better, best for all sides in the back, I can come in first and add them as services. So I'm going to click all sides on the back with the good option. And then I'm going to come and do it with the better option. And then I'm going to do it with the best option. And then once I've set those services in here, when I come down to make a proposal, I'll click create new proposal. And now I'm just going to go ahead and create solutions for each one of those services, those options. So I can just come in here and I can click the good option and you'll see everything's filled in for you. So you can potentially add some pictures, hit save solution. Let's add the better option. Save solution. And now let's add the best option. And we'll save solution. And now we can go ahead and send it to the customer. And then also what you may want to do is you'll save it as a canned proposal. So we could save it as, let's say, 10 three options, all sides and back. And we'll hit save. And that's going to save it so you can reuse it in the future for other customers with just a couple clicks. Okay, let me show you what I mean with another customer. So if we go into our new leads and we see James Early here is a new lead, came from Facebook. So we see your make and model and everything. I can go ahead and create a new project, automotive, your make and models filled in for me, hit create project. And now to send that same proposal with the good, better, best, we can just come into create proposal and we'll come down here to tint three options, all sides in the back, which is the one we just saved. And then I can come in here and hit send. And now we can send that proposal to the customer with those three options that are already saved. Now, when the customer selects which option they want, you'll see here these services, they'll be crossed out. So if we fast forward and the customer picks, let's say they wanna go with the middle grade option, the good option, and they approve that proposal, you'll see here that automatically the services that were not selected are crossed out. The proposal's approved, the price is filled in, the tax is added for you. And then if you come in here to create an invoice for the customer, you'll see that everything's filled in for you, including the service that the customer picked. So go ahead and set up all your services. Make sure you do that for not only your window film, but absolutely anything that you want to offer a customer. And then you can create proposals quick and easy, offering whatever services you want just by adding those services and then creating a proposal using those services. And then of course, if you wanna use save that proposal for future use, just save it as a canned proposal. You can also use services on their own without a proposal. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So if we come into another new lead, we click into Jerry, we'll create a project. You're making models filled in, create project. Now, if we were to schedule Jerry and we didn't need to create a proposal for him, hypothetically, we can still come down to services and we can simply add whatever services Jerry's going to go ahead and get. So let's say, again, Jerry's going to get all sides on the back with the Prime XR. And then you could potentially just jump in straight to an invoice and it's going to have that service over there. So again, if we go back and we say, what if Jerry was also going to get paint protection? And again, this would be an instance where we don't necessarily even need to create a proposal. We're just adding it as a service. And then you can see prices automatically there. We can go to create an invoice and you'll see whatever services you add to the project will show up in there, regardless if there's a proposal or not. So you can use services on their own or you can use services to create a proposal. You do whatever fits the situation. And that's it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.